Hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited and so grateful that you guys have chosen to share your Tuesday night with me. Um, I want to welcome everyone watching on the Goddess Group On Demand as well. Thank you for being here. Um, I just want to start by just honouring you for showing up tonight. I know that there's so many other things that you could be doing on your Tuesday night and I know that showing up for yourself is sometimes confronting and we don't want to do it but I really want to honour each and every one of you for saying yes to yourself because ultimately when you come to something like that, like this, that, that is what you're doing, you're saying yes to yourself. So well done, give yourself a little pat on the back. Um, and now let's bring everyone's energy together. So we're gonna start with a beautiful little meditation. So if everyone closes down their eyes. And just place your hands in your lap or on your thighs, whatever feels good for you. And together we're gonna take in a big deep breath in through your nose. and slowly exhaling out through your nose. Take another deep inhale through your nose and slowly exhaling out. Inhale. and exhale out through your nose. And maybe these are the first deep belly breaths you've taken all day. So really just soak them up. Continue to do your deep, long in and exhalations. Extending the breath a little bit longer on each one. The yogis say to extend your breath means you're extending your life. So the deeper the breath, essentially the longer you will live. And deep belly breathing is like nature's Botox. It takes years off your life. Relaxing your shoulders and your forehead. And just making sure you've got no tension in your body. And if you do have any tension in your body, just simply choose to let that go right now. Say, I choose to let go of that pain in my shoulder. I choose to let go of that pain in my knee. I choose to let go of that pain in my lower back, whatever it is. If you have any mean girl thoughts that have come popping up in your mind, Simply let them go and return back to your breath. You might have one every few seconds and that's okay. Every time she pops up, just simply let them go and return back to your breath. Know that thoughts are a part of meditation. And it's not about having no thoughts, that is impossible. Instead, it's about when those thoughts pop up, how quickly you can let them go and return back to your breath. 
So a thought pops up, we let it go, we return to our breath. Try that. Keep letting them go. Observe where your mean girl wants to take you. Oh, my back's sore. Did I turn off the stove? Oh my gosh, I forgot to email that person back. Did I really swear at the kids on the way here? I'm such a bad person, I'm such a bad parent. Just observe. Don't judge, observe. Take in a deep breath in through your nose, hold the breath at the top and slowly exhale out the air through your nose. And know that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. For some divine reason, the universe has guided you to this cushion tonight to be in this room with this set of women. Every week, the set of women in this room is different. And for some reason, you are sitting next to the person you are supposed to sit next to. And you came tonight because you're supposed to be here to receive something divine that the universe has for you. So stay open, open your heart, open your mind and you will receive whatever it is that you are supposed to receive tonight. But know that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Not on the couch watching Netflix. And you showed up. You showed up for yourself, so well done. Inhale that beautiful divine air in through your nose and exhale any expectations. Inhale deeply, breathe it up and on the exhale we're going to sigh it out, let it out and sigh it out. Ah. Beautiful, you can do better than that. Inhale, breathe it up, breathe, 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 and sigh it out, let go of your day. Nice, one more time, breathe it up, breathe, 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 let go of your day and let it out. Beautiful. Now placing your hands in prayer position at your heart center and feeling your thumbs connecting with your sternum. Feel that connection. Feel your palms pressing toward each other, balancing the masculine and the feminine side of your body. Feel that connection. If you would like to set a little intention for yourself for this evening, you can go ahead and do that now. Maybe it's to be present, to be open, or to let go of expectations. Whatever it is, set that intention now.
and rubbing your hands together, cultivating some heat, balancing the masculine and the feminine side of your body, placing them over your heart, one hand on top of the other, feeling that beautiful warmth. That, my darling, is the truth of who you are. That beautiful feeling of love and connection deep in your heart, that is your truth. And my role is to just simply remind you of how truly magnificent, perfect, whole and complete you are. You already know it. I'm just here to remind you. Inhale one more time and exhale. And when you're ready, you can crack open your eyes. Nice. That feels good, huh? Feels so juicy. Welcome. Everyone's energies are now in the one place. It's really beautiful to bring everybody together. So uh, everyone raise your right hand high in the sky. Leave your hand up if at some point you have had your heart broken. Okay, wow, everyone. Okay, leave your hand up if when you had your heart broken, it felt like someone had ripped out your chest, thrown it on the floor and stomped on it with like nine inch stilettos and really tore it to shreds. Okay, that's a few people put their arms down. Okay, that's good. Okay, so leave your hand up if you would like to learn how to move through heartache and heartbreak with ease and grace. Okay, awesome. Well, tonight we're gonna be talking about heartbreak, how to move through heartbreak and heartache with a sense of ease and grace. Now, there's two reasons why I wanted to talk to you guys about this tonight. The first reason is I get asked about it all the time. People are constantly emailing me, how do I deal with this heartbreak from a relationship or heartbreak from someone passing away or heartbreak from the, a friend saying something to someone. You know, we've all got varying degrees of things that have happened to us along our journey. So, um, that's the first reason why I wanted to talk about this is I'm constantly asked, emailed, people commenting on my Instagram asking me about this stuff. So I thought it'd be a perfect forum to chat about it with you guys here tonight. And the second reason is I've had my fair share of heartbreaks. So I want to share with you how I move through those really challenging times with a sense of ease and grace. Um, so does that sound good? So before we dive in, I want to share a little story with you. Uh, in my early 20s, I was dating this guy that I was really madly in love with. And I thought we were going to get married. We went to Paris, which we did the whole cliche, went into Tiffany's, tried on engagement rings, all of that. And it was like nothing I'd ever experienced before. And I was just so overflowing with love and couldn't believe that we were together. You know, he was nothing. He was like no man I've ever experienced. Then I found out he was cheating on me. And that tore me apart. Like I was so devastated. I'd never experienced anything like that before, like where it literally feels like someone has ripped out your, ch your heart from your chest and thrown it on the floor and a million people are just stomping on it. And about 95% of the room can relate to that feeling. It's like nothing I'd ever experienced before and it's very hard to explain. If you haven't experienced that before, it's quite hard to explain, but that like I'm a very visual person and that's how I explain it. And to the point where I was in such a bad place that I fell asleep crying, I would wake up crying, I stopped working, I just cried and cried for months and months and months and completely lost myself. I lost 
a whole lot of weight. I just completely lost myself. I was so hurt and shattered. I even like begged him to take me back. I remember visually, like we lived in this terrace in the UK and I had stairs that go down and I was on the bottom of the stairs in the fetal position begging him. Like I can laugh about it now, but at the time, like far out, like I just, just think, poor, poor girl. Like I just want to scoop that girl up and give her a big hug. Um, and I did what I thought was the most sensible thing to do, which is close off my heart after that situation. I was like, right, I'm never gonna get hurt like this again. So I'm gonna put a big padlock over my heart and I'm sweet, I'll be fine. I'll just, I'll let people in to like hear and then that's it. Like I won't let them fully in, then I can't get hurt. And I chose to carry that anger and that frustration and that pain with me for five years. And it, until I hit rock bottom and had to really look at my life. But I carried that around for five years. Now with hindsight, I look back and I think everything's perfect and I don't regret anything in my life. But maybe if I had the three tools that I'm gonna share with you tonight, then maybe I wouldn't have begged um, on the floor like a child. <laughs> To, for him to take me back. But it's all perfect and it's all part of my journey. Um, but maybe I wouldn't have done that if I had known what I know now. So the first thing that I wish someone had told me back then was to fully feel it. That is the most important thing that you need to do when you experience any sort of heartache, any sort of pain, whether it's a loss of someone or a breakup, you need to fully feel it. I think there's this misconception that if you're spiritual, that all you do is feel happy and rainbows and butterflies. And that is not the case. I still feel angry, angry at times. I still feel frustration. I still feel sadness. Of course, you know, I'm still here. I'm not an enlightened being and I haven't levitated out of this realm yet. Maybe one day, we'll see. But it's really important that you feel everything. And I mean like fully feel it, like with your whole body. And that might look like crying or kicking or screaming or screaming into a pillow or punching a pillow or whatever, whatever it looks like for you. And it's just super important that you honor how you're feeling and you allow yourself to fully feel it.